Hey everybody, welcome back to some more Kingdom Hearts 358 over two days. Day 300. Holy cow, you guys. We have finally reached 300. That is a lot. On part 64. Holy cow. Took a long time. <laughs> Alright. In this part... We are going to... Um, that was odd. Depart as soon as you are ready. Neverland. Heck yeah, Neverland. I love going to Neverland. It's my favorite world. I'm just kidding. I hate Neverland. It's my least favorite world. My favorite world is probably Olympus Coliseum. Because of how straightforward everything is. There's just two rooms. There's not a million different places to check. And I just love it. Actually, I guess there's three rooms, but still. I finally clipped your pestering little wings, eh? Serves you right for buzzing about in my business. Planning to interfere with me. A treasure hunt, were you? Well, well, change of plans. It's me returning to the ship. We're returning to the ship. I right behind you, Captain. There, there, now, Miss Bell. Be a good little pixie for us, won't you? Well, that's just fantastic. They captured Tinkerbell. How? They must have just... She could fly. How'd she get so close to him that she just let him put a bag over her? I mean, come on, Tinkerbell. You're magical. This mission, you guys, is not very fun, but it's the last mission before the mission where I go insane rage. Yes. Ha! I'm not joking. I can worry about today's mission once I know she's safe. Roxas, you're a good person. You know that? You are a good guy. Rescue Tinkerbell! <laughs> I love that. Let's go rescue Tinkerbell. Where am I going? Oh, I can't fly it. Looks like we're going to the boat. To the boat. Fancy ship he got there. Can't go inside of it like you could in Kingdom Hearts 1. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Sorry, I have a cough. But it's still a nice decorative boat. Wait a second. Can we go inside of it? Confound this useless map. But Captain, are you sure you want to tear it up like that? Yay, we already checked this one the other day. It's worthless. If you say so, sir. Set a course, Mr. Smee. Take us to the next treasure spot. Aye, aye, Captain. They're still looking for that treasure. Sounds like they're inside. Yeah, it does. Oh, Tinkerbell. But, but, sir, do you really think it's worth the trouble? We've done a good bit of digging already, and we only found his pieces of junk in them heartless creatures. Stop whining, Smee, and think why were there so many maps. I'll tell you why. Whoever buried this treasure made maps, f made make maps to lead me astray and protect their booty. Oh, then one of these maps is sure to hold the real one, right? Aye, aye. And the only way to know which one it is is to follow them all. I like your thinking. The heartless must have been planted at uh, at the marked spots. Well, no one outwits Captain Hook. That treasure is mine, 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 mine. Now I'm gonna move on, Smee. Aye, aye, Captain. Oh, Smee, you're so gentle. And they're actually leaving that room. How? I'm going. <sighs> Let her get acquainted with her new home. That lamp. Look lively, Mr. Smee. Okay. So, okay, let's go get Tinkerbell out. Plain and simple. Let's go get Tinkerbell. Oh my god, we can go in the boat. We're in the boat. We're in a cutscene. A cheap cutscene. With no voice actors. Yeah. Okay, just in a minute. Just a minute, I'll get you out of there. There we go, we did it, yay. That was very easy. I'm glad you're okay. You know, you would have thought he would have locked it. Instead, just left the door there so you can just 
pull it open, but whatever, you know, whatever. Is there something else? Um, it is a lamp. You know, you guys, I, I want to tell a story, so you guys can watch this if you really want to, but it's not interesting me enough. So, I am a sophomore in high school, and I'm going to take the PSAT, which if you're I'm not sure if they take it everywhere. I'm like 99% sure they don't take it everywhere in the U.S. But it's a practice SAT, I guess. And my parents want me to take it. It's not man it's not mandatory to take it all, but you know, you could. And I signed up to take it like a long time ago, and they gave me this packet, and I have never heard anything from them since. And I was recently just, you know, sitting around. My mom called me and said, hey, do you know when the PSAT is? And I was like, um, no, I haven't heard anything about it yet. And they said, did they give you anything? And I said, yeah, they gave me this packet. And I had only gone through the packet really briefly when I got it. And it was just a, basically a practice test. And I didn't even do it. I just kind of looked at it and did it in my mind, a few questions, and I was done. But I was thinking, okay, they had never told me when this test is, so... Ah, oh, stupid heartless. So, yeah. And my dad called me. He was like, Alex, I think the test was today. And I was like, what? No. It couldn't have been today. So I, I looked it up, and we, we're all settled down now. It, it's not today. It's in a few days. So, whew. In a few days, I'm going to take the PSAT. And, I don't know. That's what I'm going to be doing. Yeah. Any of you guys took it or will be taking it or are taking it? Um, what is it like or are you nervous? Because I'm not really that nervous. I, I never study for the AIMS, which is what we take here in Arizona. I never do. I just kind of take the test and use my prior knowledge to see how well I actually am. But my mom says I don't need to study for this thing. So does my dad. So I'm not going to study. I'm just going to go off what I know. But you never know. I'm really hoping it's not going to be that hard. Uh, let's see what kind of heartless pop up. Maybe it's the one I'm after. Oh boy. Huh? Nothing. There's nothing in it. Are they not connected? Hmm. Why do they. Why do Heartless always appear when they dig up stuff? Unless it's him, the guy in the red. Maybe he's connected to the Heartless. Hmm. Well, you guys, basically what they're saying is what I've known this entire time, and it's that the Heartless only appear for the one guy because he's, like, I don't know, greedy? <sighs> so you want to fly down to them. And they'll be like, Ooh, Mr. Smee, dig faster. Keep digging, Mr. Smee. Ah. Aye, aye, sir. Hi, sir. There it is. That is what I was looking for. Yeah. Yeah, I can't sing. I am really bored today, guys. Like, I... I guess I can go do some homework. Whatever. It's fall break. I do what I want. Alright. Super duper speedy up time now. Because this is a really boring fight with a phantom tail, which is just fantastic. Ah, and I'm going to speed it up a bunch because it'd be a long fight if I didn't. So, any second now, the speed should kick in. There we go. Yes. I just hate the flying mechanics in this game. It just drives me crazy. Look at that. A limit break, I didn't even get rid of it for like a quarter of its health. I mean, how useless. How useless. Come on. And in the next video, you guys are going to understand how truly I hate this world and this flying and it's just rage. They really need to remake this game for the PlayStation 2 or PlayStation 3 or Xbox. Heck, make it for Xbox 360 so I can actually play it. Because if they remake it just for PS3, I'd be ticked off because I couldn't be able to play it. Which reminds me, when Kingdom Hearts 3 comes out, if it ever does, make it for Xbox 360. Gosh dang it, I'm tired. 
of every single good game not being on Xbox. When I got the Xbox because it was the two, I it was a, I had a choice between the PlayStation 3 or the Xbox 360, and the Xbox 360 was cheaper at the time. So my dad got me the cheap one. But little did I know, the Xbox 360 does not have very many amazing games. I know there's a lot of people like, oh my God, get Halo. Oh my God, get Modern Warfare. Get Call of Duty. No, I don't like those stupid shooter games, so I'm not gonna buy one. I want story. I want plot. I want good game or a sports game those are my two things I like and Microsoft does not offer that very much they have a really good basketball game but that's about it nothing else they have pleases me I am just attacking everything look at me rage right now PlayStation 3 on the other hand was amazing had all the best games and we I have not played my Wii in over a month. It's at my mom's house, so I, I have a chance to play it every other weekend. So I don't have a chance to play it very often. And whenever I'm up there, I never play it. I always just play my PlayStation 2. So I have this big fancy Wii sitting there and all the games I have just sitting there. And, you know, I got the And that's a problem with the Wii. Like, people just get bored with it. And I didn't think I'd get bored with it because I loved playing my cousins. So when I got one for my birthday, I played it non-stop for months. And now that I've beaten Super Smash Bros. And I've learned Mario Kart is not very good. I have just... I just don't want to play it anymore. They don't have any other good games. So, plus, I'm not going to go out and buy any more games because they cost so much money. So you guys, I hope... I bet you guys understand. It's just... Ah, it's just so much crap deal with with the Wii and all and all those new games why can't the, everything just work out why can't there just be one console and everyone just get along you know Can you imagine a world where everyone gets along no war no riots no violence no angry troll comments and everything would be so much better <laughs> uh, alas we don't live in a world like so so you guys, sorry if my commentary was boring, because actually I've been speaking and I'm the one that is noticing its boringness, which is not good. But yeah, comment, like the video, please, and subscribe. And I guess I can tell you guys this right now. Uh, I tried making my own little custom intro. It, it It's not that good. I tried putting it on this video, but it would not go unless they like did something really stupid and I have to like go to Camtasia and I'm not going to do that okay I'm just going to use Windows Movie Maker which doesn't allow me to open two different files at once so whatever not going to have a special intro just my picture which is okay I like my picture yeah my voice is dying Ugh, I'm going to go do homework after this do homework uh, maybe go on a walk watch some TV Computerize maybe a little bit more. That's my pl that's my plan for today. That's my plan for today. So yeah, now that everyone's back, it's such a much nicer world. Here's Namine. Oh no, Namine, what'd you do? What the heck? Diz, Diz and Namine, what are they doing? Sora's memory it stopped. How does that happen? Gosh dang it. See you guys next time. I don't know why I just said that, but I thought we had less time than we actually did. Yeah. Bye. Because this is not real cutscene and I can talk over it and stuff. Diz, who are you? We'll find out in future Let's Plays. But yeah. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.